We will be beginning shortly the fourth round match in the team winning in tournament. Um, this is the winner's bracket. So me and this guy are undefeated. Um, I don't know what he's playing, but I'm about to find out. See you on. Okay, well, let me log into the forum and see what's going on. Because, ah, all right. So here we go. Playing Zoropod, and it makes you scroll all the way to the end. My thing starts at the letter Z, which is unfortunate. <coughs> and Zoropod Pablo, and accept. I'm ready to get things started here. And it's all psychic, so I think he's playing uh, Malmar Necrozma. Um, yes, I would like to go first. I want that turn to trade. So yeah, uh, if he's playing uh, Don Wings Necrozma, uh, that would be the bomb. So in this tournament, uh, I've won three matches, and two of my opponents were Don Wing Necrozma. It was pretty cool. The, the one weird... All right, yep, start with Wimpod, always. And put that guy down, and Oranguru is uh, negotiable. <laughs> yeah, the weird deck that I played against was uh, Eveltal. Yeah, Eveltal break with uh, Hoopa. Ah, oh, yes, it is what I think it is. Great. Uh, let's put down Oranguru. And... Uh, Mallow. And we're going to need something to get us going here. So let's just show play man here. All right. Yeah, all this stuff is expendable. Let's just let's just go for Sycamore. And I guess the other card does not matter. Well, uh, yeah, I'll be drawing it, so I guess it does. So let's get uh, Zorwa. Zoroark. And let's put this here, and we're just going to retreat this guy, and maybe we'll get to do a cool attack here. Yep, we'll get to do first impression on the Sinke. Maybe he'll hard pass, and maybe I'll get the um, the uh, Galissapod, and it'll be game. So I've got the advantage here because uh, Don Wings Necrozma has, oh, I bet you he's going to get a basic now. I don't know, weirder things have happened, but he'll probably get the basic. Um, Don Wings Necrozma has the uh, type disadvantage here because it has uh, weakness to dark. But, you know, uh, they have ways of working around it. I just played against a Malmar deck uh, a couple hours ago just for fun, and he didn't whip out a single Don Wings Necrozma. And, ooh, he just took away my retreat ability, so I will not be first impressioning. Okay, let's put that there. And I've got, can't use either of this, so let's just go. <coughs> Maybe I'll get the float stone. Ah, sweet, 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 sweet. Let's do that. And we do not need the grass energy. So let's trade away the grass energy. See what happens. Hmm, nope, didn't get what I wanted. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's... All right, well, might as well attack with the Rangaroo then. And we don't need any of this other stuff. Nope. So let's go ahead and resource management, get back that puzzle of time, get back uh, energy. Oh, Floatstone. We want Floatstone for sure. And uh, Mellow. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll probably use the Tapu Lele uh, next turn to get a supporter. And so that will rearrange the order of our cards. Super Rod, did he discard an energy? Huh, interesting. So yeah, he definitely wants that Malamar back. And ooh, he might just get it. Turn to Sycamore. And let's see. Did he get any attackers? No. All right, well, then I better not mess up this turn. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to 
Go ahead and get our supporter. And oh, hey, we could mallow for a DCE and a floatstone. Because that would just guarantee a knockout for us. I don't see why not. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah, we'll do that, Mallow. And I'm glad I resource managed it back. I wasn't thinking about getting a Mallow. All right. So, yep. Yeah, let's play it. I do not have energy to attack with, so let's make it happen. And let's see. Uh, what's expendable here? The field blower? Yeah. We are running for these babies, and I am always using them for trades. Yay! Um, you know what? Trade. This uh, Zorua is expendable, too. I might just regret that later, but we'll... Oh, okay. All right. That was dumb. So we'll retreat this guy. Send out the Zoroark. And just... Uh, Right, is beating for 120. And let's just see if he has anything to recover. I mean, he just played Sycamore. He's got a hand of seven right there. I bet you he's got a supporter in there. I bet you he's got some draw support. Ah, there we go. There we go. See, um, you know, it's very often that they have, um, you know, you don't have fast games when you're going up against a Malamar deck. And uh, if I had drawn a little bit better, I might have been able to end the game very quickly. Okay, so he's going to do uh, 80 or 60 times 3 plus the 10. That's uh, 190 plus that thing. That's uh, 200. So 200 is bad. This can't one-hit KO the Zoroark, though, because of resistance, and it's 210. All right, well, one of these Zoroarks is unnecessary. Hmm. All right, and uh, we can get rid of this Wimpod, too. We've already got two. No big deal. Hmm. We'll get rid of Brigetti and... And we can always get that back with a uh, puzzle of time. <coughs> All right, we'll put an energy there and an energy here. And all right, this guy is not in KO range, so let's keep hitting with riotous beating. And I bet you, I, I can't make predictions about his turn here, but I bet you he's not going to send out a Don Wings Necrozma. Probably not going to Ninja Boy for a Don Wings Necrozma, even though he could use its GX attack right now. I did set the prizes so that he could... Oh, see, yeah, he does not want that card. And he is going to Psychic Recharge for an epic one. And you know what? My hand is... Uh, my hand could be better. This is uh, stuff I can't play right now because my bench is full. Let's see if I get anything better. Oh, hey, there we go. I can play some of that stuff. And the field blower. He's probably going to get rid of my stone and my... Well, okay, I only have two tools. Oh, man. All right. Well, that one, obvious. And I guess that one. Dude, I love this Orangaroo. If I had the resource management... Let's see. I'd probably get back the Mew. The Zorowat and the Zoroark. Yeah. Well, I will field blow. I have two things I can field blower next turn. I can get rid of that. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, Black Ray. I forgot about that attack. Ouch. <clears throat> well, let's do that. Get rid of these two. All right, and I don't have a way to attack with Mew, unfortunately. Actually, wait a minute. Nope. If I do double puzzle, get Mew. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Wait. I played Mallow, didn't I? Oh, I played Mallow. Okay. Hmm. 
All right, let's let's not be too hasty here. Let's trade the Gillis Pod. Hmm. And uh, yeah, you know what? Let's trade again. Probably not going to need this. Maybe I'll get the puzzle. And I did not. That is unfortunate. But I can kill this guy with Gillespot, so let's do that. And let's... First impression. Now he's going to take his first prize, unfortunately. Yeah. So the, uh, the most recent Malamar deck I played against, they were actually running... Uh, double colorless energy. Um, and they were attacking with Mew. Uh, they had a uh, Shining Lugia. It was um, it was a different list. And this uh, this uh, Enhanced Hammer was actually relevant. Not relevant in this match, but that's great. It's very comforting when you're playing a Zoroark deck to have cards that you know for sure that you can't use because it's trade bait. So he's definitely going to get a KO this turn. Good news, he's already used his GX attack. And he did not play in to shuffle away my... Um, to shuffle away my one puzzle, fortunately. Okay. Well, we are going to have to start doing some trades. Get rid of you first. Man, this is not good. All right, let's trade away the Eva Soda. There we go. So, yep, we, we can do 200, 240. Yep, we got it. Okay. So let's let's get the mule. There we go. And did we play a supporter yet? I don't think we did. Huh. So let's put down the Mew. Let's put down this guy. Let's attach an energy here. And then let's uh, Ace Roller. Let's send up the Mew. And I've got to put down another Pokemon to get KO range here. Yeah, why not? I'm actually just putting it down because I just need uh <laughs> I just need to fill my bench. But hey, why not? And then let's um put that on a Rangaroo. And let's go ahead and write his beating for two forty. And if he has the choice band, he can knock out or yeah, no, no, no. He can't attach choice band because he already has a tool. But he can he can attach an energy and do uh, do 120. <coughs> and unfortunately, that's game over. I'm just gonna Guzma up his Inke and riot a speeding or not. <laughs> well, maybe next turn I'm gonna do a trade. See, he got rid of all those resources. He knew my hand was good. Um, maybe. I will get something with trade that will allow me to win the game. But I'm in a good position right now, right? He's at two prizes. I'm at one. Hmm. All right. So let's trade. Let's see what I get. 
All right, none of that is good. Let's, Cynthia. Hmm. There we go. We need a double colorless. Let's see. And he can't use the uh, Psy Strike because he's already GX'd, thank goodness. Let's trade the N. Give me a DCE. That is not a DCE. Let's do these two. Get that. Um, and trade the float stone. Yep, so it's getting close. Ah, there we go. I got the DCE. So let's. We got the double puzzle here. And I cannot knock out Mewtwo, unfortunately. But let's just get a DCE and a Guzma. Actually, how am I doing on DCEs here? Oh, I've got... <laughs> All right, do that. Yeah, none of this stuff is going to help me right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Smack you for 60-30. And he will knock out the uh, the Latios next turn. You know, if he wants to. He might have uh, Malamar, and he might be able to... Um, well, only be able to uh, Psychic Recharge once, because he can't get out a second Malamar. Let's check his discard pile here. Yeah, he's only got one Malamar, three Inke. Ooh, that's bad. And he has just saved himself from a bench KO next turn. Good for him. But I do have the Guzma, and my opponent does know that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to trade away the N, or whatever card I draw next turn, or the N. And I've got three trades, so keep on trading until I get a DCE, Guzma, and knock out the Malamar. Hey, you know, I get excited about easy matchups, man. I get excited about everything. I like this game. And it's fun, even when the odds are in my favor. I have no idea what he's getting. Probably not an Inke, because they are all in his discard pile. Ooh, he's just thinning out the deck. Maybe he's uh, going to get an N. Which would be bad for me, because he knows I have the Guzma. And, oh no, it's Cynthia. Dude, he knows. He knows he needs to get something to get a knockout. Um, if he has a uh, Countercatcher, you know, do, do Malmar List play Countercatcher? I don't think they do. But that's the only way he could get up my damaged um, Zoroark, and I have no way to retreat it. But he'd be smacking me for 40, and then 40 next turn. And then... Okay, yeah, it would take him three attacks. Because, again, he doesn't have access to a Scythe Strike. So he's maximum doing 60 damage. Oh, this is interesting. He's going to swing with Lele. I, you know, I love this part of the game. And they get aggressive with Lele. So he did not end my hand away. So we're going to see what we can do here. Let's see what we draw. Do we get the DCE? No. But we are going to keep on trading until we get it. And there we go. And that is game.
And I will ride its beating for the win. Mm -hmm. And done. And let me ask my opponent if he wants to go first. Oh, I had the mic off for a second there. I'm going to leave my browser open. Would you like to go first? No. I'm going to leave my browser open because it looks like he... Ooh, man, Lele start. He is talking through the uh, forum, which is fine. So, that's bad, but at least I get a Bridget start. And, oh, he's got the NK. And, all right, Max Elixir's never whiff. Not in this deck. Man, Fighting Fury Belt. You know, um, not every list has uh, Fighting Fury Belt. At least this guy's running more than one. Well, I know that for a fact. Oh, man, he is getting off to a good start. Okay. Let's do this. And let's just all Zoroas, man. Let's go for it. So three Zoroaks, other Lele's there. You know, the whole gang's here. Ooh, puzzle. Okay, the other puzzle's in my hand. And okay. All right, prizes are not so bad. And let's just uh, put a DCE there and done. So I'll probably end next turn and hope that I get at least one Zoroark. And then just do trades there until I get another Zoroark. Oh, he was not going to hypnosis me. Man. Okay, send up this guy. And let's just start attacking those NKs. And we do not have that luxury, unfortunately. So, we're just going to pray for a Zoroark. And we got it! Yeah! Nice. So, here we go. Here we go. Let's reduce his damage. Oh, you know what? Nope, nope. We're going to... We're going to trade the Lele. And hope to get two more basics. No. But man, I am on fire with these Eva sodas. Hot dog. And there we go. And the fourth Zoroark is prized. So let's trade the Brigetti, because we can't play a supporter this turn. Hmm. Um, let's trade an energy. Not bad. And yeah, let's just field blower that guy. And... No trades left. Let's just ride his beating for 100. And he cannot knock me out next turn unless he sends up... He could. He could send up Don Wings Necrozma, get that guy on the bench, but he'd also need a float stone. Um, or, yeah, he could just float stone that instead of a Don Wings Necrozma. That would work, too. But he won't be able to attack with it um, this turn. So, yeah, I was hoping to knock out his Inkes early before they become a problem, but 
he is getting a full three turns without me getting any knockouts on him, unfortunately. And there we go. And you better believe he's got some energy in the discard pile. He has four psychic energy, and he is going to psychic recharge. And actually, he hasn't attached to energy yet, so he's going to attack with the other, the other Necrozma GX. That is his plan. And I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking a Black Ray is coming. I, I don't think he's going to, um, I don't think he's going to Prismatic Burst. And it does 100, yep. Hot dog. <laughs> Let's trade away the Brigetti. Hmm. Okay. Let's... Um, well, we can't use the Zorua, so let's trade that away. Interesting. And this Wimpod is not going to help us, so let's trade that away. I want Mew. None of those are Mew, unfortunately. So we're just going to first impression for a whole bunch. Oh, I haven't played a supporter. Let me do that. <laughs> and let's retreat. First impression for a 150. And so he's got two damaged Pokemon. And if he's got Ace Rolla or Max Potion on... But for the benched guy, that could be a problem. Um, let's see. If he attaches another energy to this guy, he's uh, going to be doing 250. Yeah, that will be enough for a knockout. But he will have a severely damaged uh, Necrozma. And hopefully I'll just get two easy prizes. Hmm. Okay. So he's going to go for the easy knockout here. It's going to send up the one with the energy, obviously. And, you know, with that, um, I think... So he's going to get a knockout this turn. And with the psychic recharges he has in play, he can um, get a guaranteed knockout next turn as well. So it's looking pretty bad. Hmm. Well, um, let's see. What's his Guzma count here? Man, oh man, oh man. Well, We're just going to hope he doesn't have it. Trade away. And, oh, dude, what are we getting out of our discard pile here? Hmm. Let's get in. I'll mess up his ha hand count at least. I can't believe I'm getting my first knockout. Hmm. Okay, and let's just pray he doesn't have the Guzma. And even if I lose this game, still got game three. 
And game three, obviously, I'm going to go first, which means I'll have the advantage. Oh, he's got the Guzma. Look at that. Look at that. Because he's sending up Tapu Lele. Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, I don't know what he's thinking. All right, so he discards uh, <laughs> a choice band, which is not going to help me. Actually, it could help me because I could uh, cross and cut GX and knock out the Lele, which is not what I'm going to do. I'm going to Guzma and knock out the Necrozma with my... Um, with my uh, Latios. Hmm. Okay. Man. Okay. Oh, crap, I picked the wrong one. <laughs> All right, well, in too deep. I got to live with my mistake. Mm, at least I can say I tried. Discard Ace Roller. I'm not going to need that. Um, discard that. And let's write a speeding for knockout. And, you know, if he has a Mewtwo, I mean, I'm just, I am screwed. There we go. And I bet you he's got the, oh, so he's going to get a Tapu Lele. Get whatever supporter. Oh, no. No, okay. Yep. All right. Well, well, we'll give him the pleasure of letting him play it out. Man, that was a mistake. I picked the wrong Necrozma to uh, Guzma up. I should have attacked with Latios. And then I could have used Mew the next turn and then gotten my last two prizes. Good game. Okay. So I will let him know I'm going second. And accept. Okay. And oh, no basics. Hey, I, I love to see double colorless energy just as much as everybody else. But if I don't have any basics, no point. 
me send up this guy, and I do not have the Burgetti. Okay. Well, then I guess we'll just Cynthia. Hope we get some more basics. Send up this guy, and um, that'll do it. Current play time is uh, 43 seconds, is how long this recording has been going. It's going to be midnight in about 19 minutes. And lucky him, he gets a full bench. So actually, I'm going to get, oh, man. So the strategy of just knock out as many Inkes as possible, that is not going to work this time. Let's just fill it up, man. And let's discard these two. Get the Zoro. Take the Zoroark and trade. And hopefully get a supporter or something for next turn. Oh, that does not help. Um Let's let's uh, get a preview of next turn here. All right, yes, N, definitely N. I put down that wind pod since we know we're getting an N next turn. Uh, yep, right is speeding. Yep, we do not need that wind pod for trade. So I'm going to assume he'll get the float stone next turn to retreat the Tapu Lele. Um, so he won't have to waste an energy attachment on that to retreat it. And man, dude, he is hitting these sycamores. You know, I should have counted his discard pile last game to see how many sycamores he had. I could swore he played two in one of the games. Well, he's got two Guzma that he hasn't didn't actually use. He used them for discards. That's good. And here we go. Wait. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. Let's play N. I might have end him into a good hand, but hey, who cares? I need to start getting set up. All right, we can always puzzle you back. Let's put an energy here. Why not? And we'll take first blood. Hope it's something good. Trade bait, yay! Maybe we can bridge it for uh, a puzzle of time. And we can get that Mew EX. So he's going to 
Get another Necrozma, and he's going to get that guy tanking too. Now let's see if he misses it this time. Nope. He's got a good energy count in this deck. Hot dog. <laughs> he has no energy in his discard pile. Hmm. Okay. Now, nope. before we do anything drastic here, let's get ourselves some trade bait here. Get rid of that Brigetti. All right, that did not help. Straight away, Wimpot. Hoping for that double puzzle. There we go. Let's. Counter catcher the All right, I need some prizes. So let's just go for it. Let's just try speeding for knockout. So, unless he ends me, which would be really bad, um, I can just get a guaranteed knockout next turn by uh, double puzzling Mew, DCE, Guzma, and knocking out his Necrozma GX. So this is going to be a close game. And there we go. <laughs> I called it. So here we go. So he is still alive. So we're just going to, ouch, trade. Don't need you. And we just need that puzzle. Trade. And we did not get it. Let's discard these two. Get ourselves a Galispod. We're just going to get a cheap knockout on one of those Malamars. Because we can't. And we will hopefully get the Mui X knockout next turn. This is a game of prizes right now. I lost board advantage a long time ago. First impression. All right, give me something good. Let's trade bait. So the good news is, is if he gets a knockout on one of my uh, Zoroarks, I still have one left that I can trade with.
Ouch. Okay. Here goes. Hmm. Let us trade. Okay. And we got it. Okay. Yep. Um Yep. Double puzzle for you. And doesn't matter what the other card is. Yep, so we're going to do a rightist beating and smack him for 240. All right, and my opponent has conceded the game. So I'm going to go ahead and congratulate him, um, wish him good luck, and uh, and that will be it. Um, you can check me out on Twitter at CVRamen, C-V-R-A-M-E-N, and this is the Team Win and End Tournament.